Um, Stephen, is the site still down? Yeah, we're literally battling to keep it up. Right okay, that's fine. Bummer. Which yeah. site is down? So operationsflydrop.org right now. They're, we're having some issues with the uh, with it trying to keep it up and running. Uh, there's some nefarious dickheads out there that are trying to you know Real ru ruin it for everybody else. So mm -hmm. anyway, but if you can't do that. You, Katie, would you like to explain what you can do? You can buy the poster instead. Do you want to display the poster, Blaine? I'll model this poster. Blaine will model the poster switch while we're... To, you want to switch, switch the big over. view? Do you want to just fall over? Dude, I am like really hungover. <laughs> like last night... He graduated, it's fine. Well, part one of graduation, part two is tonight. Um, okay, so you can buy this poster. The proceeds from it go to uh, Operation Supply Drop. Um, it only comes internationally, so you can purchase it from outside of the, the US, but you have to get it from the international store. So if you're logged in on roosterteeth.com, you'll have to, and you're, you ha have bought from the Australian, uh, New Zealand or UK store, you have to change your store in the top right hand corner, and you can get it that way. So it should be in the international store. So you will have to pay shipping, and somebody did tell me on Twitter, uh, that when they ordered poster, the Extra Life poster, and bundled it with t-shirts, it was the same shipping, um, and it all came together. Oh, so nice. you don't pay extra shipping for it. So if the shipping is a little bit, you know, uh, for a $10 poster, add some shirts, add some other merchandise onto it to make the shipping worth it. <laughs> Emily's like at home right now, and you're like, she's found the exploit. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, Jack. Sir. There seems to be motivation behind this poster. I see that Ray is holding a rose. Is this all Minecraft re Minecraft references? No, You're holding no. an axe. I've got an axe. Uh, it's just kind of like, but I've got like a battle axe though, not like a pickaxe. Okay. Um, Is that a thing in Minecraft? Uh, there's no battle axes in Minecraft. How no. should be? How much will you judge me? Yeah. I'm gonna put you in the middle. How much would you judge me if I say I've never played Minecraft? Put you in the not not too much. I didn't play Minecraft until we played it for the Xbox 360. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. It looks fun, but it's like I feel like it's one of those things. Since I was so obsessed with Legos, I feel like yeah. I just get like. No, you guys would never see me. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. it's definitely one of those things. Like once you play no, it for no, about an hour, you just kind of get it. It's like, oh, um, okay. And then you just kind of go to town and you just play it forever. I love that. I love that moment in gaming where you're just like, I know this. Yeah. <laughs> I understand it now. You're like Neo seeing. I know kung fu yeah. and Minecraft. Maybe Slightly maybe less helpful in this situation. Hours. Literally, this will take me twenty-four hours. Super like, source. Thank you for doing that. Wow. Wow. All right, Spaceman Brian, fighting the evils oh, of the galaxy. Yeah, I don't entirely know what's going on. Oh, sorry, you. Things are flying at me. He has three arrows in his face. What a like a what a shilly, shitty military for them to just like line up perfectly yeah. in this one plane. They they never uh, evolved past our American Civil War tactics of lining up in a giant row and just yeah. firing straight ahead. They were ahead. just like going straight at yeah. you. Camouflage yeah. is decades away from you them. Know, yeah. I felt like I should play something like this today just because it is 8-bit drop. And even though this Thank isn't you. an 8-bit game, oh, like the side-scroller mm -hmm. space shooter is Actually, very much... An 8-bit salute, yeah. yeah. <coughs> what, are you, what are you playing here? Me? Yeah. Uh, 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 Lord of the Rings, War in the North. You just push a giant. Oh, there yeah, I'm destroying <laughs> the orcs' uh, encampment in this dun, dun, big fortress. Dun, 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 dun. It's pretty good theme music. Right. Somebody's making pizza. That's a good time to say Ooh. that it is a 24-hour um, stream. We're going to be here for 24 hours, but we're alternating, so everybody is taking breaks and making sure they get away from the screens and they're not straining their eyes or stressing themselves out. So it's important to drink Giant lots of water. Giant eagle artillery strike. <laughs> Jeffrey! <laughs> yes, Jeffrey! Is it Jeffrey? Uh, it's... Going Power through Drink lots of water. I just wasn't sure if that was, like, really important, what you were saying. Um, <laughs> Clearly. More important than keeping hydrated and not dying. No. Um, yeah, drink lots of water, take multiple breaks, and make sure that you don't stress yourself out. Um, <coughs> it's a really good cause, and everyone is really excited to be a part of it. But our main priority is to make sure everyone is safe, happy, and, and very healthy. So Check just make sure that you rest you your eyes and keep yourself hydrated, take breaks, and, and rest. Sleep. If you want to take a nap, no one is going to begrudge you taking a nap. So No judging. I'm going to take a nap. So you're going to take Are a nap Are you saying right I have here. to take a nap right I'm now? Blaine. <laughs> what? Ready? Oh. <laughs> just pass out right <laughs> in front. your big old pillow. <laughs> Talk like that in Australia. What? No. 
only get my ass kicked. Do you know who I love? I love Kenneth. You from, love Jack, don't you? I do love Jack, yeah. but I love Kenneth from 30 Rock. I don't watch Have 30 you, Rock. Well, I don't watch TV. Never mind. The skinny weird dude. What is? He is not weird. <laughs> Television. He is adorable. Your sword out, Ezio. Do I not have a sword? Really no, you only have the cool. hidden blade for yeah. a while, don't you? Really? Yes. Well, my my so hidden blade's broken. The only thing you to fix it right now. Oh, yeah. It's just funny just in radio television film, hate less I'm only people. using the film part. Like the, the R and the T just don't mm. really have Yeah, I think I took one TV class. Yeah. Okay, so I do not have camera. Wow, yet. his head came off. Whoa. I hadn't seen Simple Walk into Mordor until like I went to RT this last RTX. Uh -huh. And I watched it and then like right after that was when I got my internship. So when I saw mm. Chris the next time, I was like yeah. <laughs> it was amazing. Mm -hmm. It just like discovered it. Yeah. Jesus, come on. I don't think I could ever do that. I mean, just walking that much. I mean, walking around a game developers conference 2012, I got blisters, and I'm just like, yeah, I'm done. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I could probably power through it, but holy shit, like mm -hmm. carrying all that gear and stuff. Somebody's phone's going off. Isn't it? Mine's in my pocket. My big thing. That's on the desk. You know, oh, this is me. I don't know. <laughs> who, who is this? I don't know when it would happen, but I would really like to bike across the country. Ooh. Um. I like this the iPad. So Jeffrey. Sorry. My uh, my Sorry. flabby Iron Man gamer tag and Twitter handle came from. I did a Iron Man triathlon, mm. and uh, never actually lost any weight, so I was the fat dude out on the course. Oh, flabby Iron Man. So it doesn't have anything to do with the, the superhero. Uh-huh. So, yeah, I mean... Every time you plug that thing in, it opens Like, I think like that Chris and Carrie things. probably would have done a little bit better if they had had some better equipment. Like, mm. like compression or shorts. Or trained. Or trained. <laughs> no. But, you know, it's a pretty amazing thing that they were able to accomplish. Well, you did triathlon, is that what you said? Well, yeah. I'd, did your nipples bleed? Uh, yeah, well, you want to hear the horror stories? I mean, there's plenty of horror stories. Um, I actually didn't have the bloody nipples. Yeah. Um, I had a compression shirt on, and that helped. But I, I, I did manage to disconnect every one of my toenails. Oh. Ooh. oh. Sexy. <laughs> Tell me more, Brian. Uh, they floated for a couple of days, and then they all peeled off. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Go on. No. <laughs> hey, hey, Jack, yes, there's baby. no link to um, the poster or operation supply drop in the YouTube stream. Oh, there's not in the description? No. Victoria Nelly says, uh, RT Salute is trending in the top spot in the U.S. Hey, Blaine, can you, uh, yes, on sir. the description of the live stream, can you add a link to the, uh, thing? Um, or do you want me to do that? Um, do you know how? I'll, I'll give it my best Okay, shot. I know how I'll do it. Okay, sorry. <laughs> we have 15,000 people watching. 15,000? That's 15, awesome. 15,000? What are you That's guys doing like... up so early? <laughs> yeah, right? That's a lot it's of people. It's Saturday, dudes. Um... What's yes. the what's the largest thing you've ever spoken in front of? Like a, the, like what's Jack? I'm assuming yours is like at a convention on a panel. Yeah, I mean like yeah, speaking in front of like I think we had four thousand at RTX last year, and that was like that was and we had overflow room for the achievement Hunter panel. But like even before that, when I was working at Disney, I I mean I, I was speaking to crowds Disney? like I mean on a regular day I'd speak for crowds between. Four people, I think. No, three people is my smallest group I ever had, up to like 500 people. Wow. And I was doing that like every 10 minutes. Wow. So, so you're just used to that shit. You, you kind of get used to it, yeah. Clayton, our audio guy, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but like recently in our productions, uh, Immersion and uh, Red vs. Blue, he's been doing mm -hmm. audio design. Holy crap, he's awesome at it. Mm -hmm. Anyways, he's like an audio master, so he's had some experience with like, you know, I guess uh, voice talents and radio and things like that. The first time he was in a podcast, I was showing him um, like how we kind of ran things, mm. and you were on it, Jack, and he was just like gushing over your voice. He was like, "Oh, Jack's voice! It just <laughs> it just fills the room. It's so beautiful." <laughs> and like every time he talks, he's like, "Oh, that is such a radio voice." <laughs> he just loved your voice. That's creepy. Yeah. Um, Clayton's Clayton's cool shit. No, Clayton, cool. Clayton is awesome. Yeah, he'll probably be here later. I've spoken in front of it. I used to do sp speeches for a few different things. Yeah. Um, I think 1,500 is probably the most I've ever Shit. spoken mm -hmm. from. That's pretty nerve-wracking. Yeah, know. it's it's pretty awful. Um, but but also fun. Like, when you're passionate about what you're talking about, mm. it Yeah. pretty easily. If you have, like, a good time with it, you're joking, so... Mm. Probably, yeah. like, live, like, people in front of me. 
when I was in high school, um, I made the, we did a senior video, mm -hmm. and I was like the film guy at my school. So I, I made the senior video, so they let me present it. And uh, that was like an auditorium of like, you know, all the parents and stuff like that. That was nerve wracking, but it was fun. Like it worked, I'm really glad I did it because that's like a cool memory of mine. Yeah, yeah, and that's the thing. When you push yourself out of your comfort zone, they're often the, the best memories that you have. Danger zone! There was Lana. a question here that actually. Oh, Lana. what's your Lana. favorite favorite Lana. animal? Lana. <laughs> Sorry, Sorry, go ahead. Babe, babe, no, babe, no, babe, babe, wait. babe, wait. Um, what is your favorite animal from a video game? Mine is the dog from Fable Three. The one that somehow survives like twenty years. Mm hmm. Hmm. I don't I'd have say the wolf from Twilight. All right. Princess. So if you're watching on the YouTube the thing, refresh, or if you're watching the YouTube page, refresh. And you can get the link to our poster right in the bottom, and also our uh, our homepage, kind of like our the Rich Steve's Eight Bit Salute homepage, Please. underneath that. So that's where we're going to be answering questions and stuff. We crossed twenty two hours, guys, so we got twenty two hours left. Cool. Mm -hmm. It is ten ten a.m. We've been playing for two hours and ten minutes. And Ooh. Lane is still hungover. Um, this is Genevieve. Hi, Genevieve is in charge of. Um, the PAs at, Roos uh, at Rooster Teeth. The oh, hello, Genevieve. At uh, RTX. Blaine Gibson. Nice to meet you. Damn good to meet you. So she'll be uh, making sure that all of the staff are looked after by their um, selected people at RTX. Shout out to Guardians. Yeah, shout Seriously. out to Guardians. Love so you guys. She's a, a Guardian manager, leader, person type thing. Yeah, you were, you were Katie, I, was, I think I would mentioned this. You were like my first point of contact. In, in terms of like rooster teeth, like you were, oh, so what was this? So face swapped us. Whoa, oh, sorry, face swapped <laughs> us. That's awesome. Yeah, but oh, you geez. were you were like my lead guardian, so you were like teaching me things. It wasn't until like later that I realized, like, holy shit, she's she's dating Jack. <laughs> it was like this is this is cool. Yeah, this is that random memory? Aww. Shut up. She was my first contact to you. I really thought you were just gonna finish on first. She was yep, my first. She's my first. <laughs> my, first. <laughs> my last. My everything. <laughs> Um, I remember you being really shy, Blaine, because, uh... Bullshit. I was not were, shy. You were so shy. What? And no, I couldn't wasn't. figure out if it was because you were, like, super cocky, but it was actually because you were really nervous. <laughs> and, uh, and I, I just remember, I was like, no, he's really sweet. And then <laughs> tried to make you talk all the time, and I just thought it was really fun. I have games this time. Katie's a compulsive liar, folks. Yeah. <laughs> so it's true. That's something you have to learn. I really am Genevieve first. Um, no, I have a, a bunch of games for the, the PAs this year, like to, to sort to of... To icebreakers? Yeah, and to learn assertiveness and, and to, yeah, because yeah. they have to tell people, no, sorry. Well, that's the thing. To... Like, you got to, like, force them through the crowd and stuff. I remember, like, with Barbara, I had to, like, just, like... I am playing Hexic. Barrel roll through yeah. people. Yeah, and she, even Barbara says, like, put your head down and walk like you have purpose and people will leave you alone. But yeah. even then, people... With such limited signing times, it's completely understandable that people would want to. I'm just gonna want to say hi to everybody. Yeah. I'm really excited. Yeah, it's gonna be really fun. Fucking a, it is. It is it's gonna be awesome. <laughs> fun, stressful, fun, but fun. still fun. Dude, yeah. I'm so excited. <laughs> you ever seen people mess up um, when they type like "fucking a" and they don't like, use a like a comma yeah. or anything? So it's like. <laughs> Fucking a, dude, and then it's like <laughs> fucking a, dude. <laughs> oh. um. Yeah, I have my assassin's blade now. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh. stabby, stabby time. Spin, spin. Well, Patrick Rodriguez just tweeted the most horrifying picture. <laughs> oh God. I know this. Some. Oh, <laughs> nice. Light. There it is. Um, Jack, what did you do at Disney? Uh, I worked there twice. Love the uh, first time I worked there, I worked at a. Uh, <laughs> I, I worked at the Great Movie Ride at the Disney MGM Studios, which is now the Disney's Hollywood Studios. And um, the second time I went back, I first started at the uh, fan at Fantasia, Fantasia, Fantasmic, which was like their outdoor show. So I worked parades and uh, and I worked uh, that. And then I went from there over to uh, the uh, backlot tour. I did the water tank portion of the backlot tour, so that's where I got to speak to a bunch of people. Cool. Where do I need to drop Did you say, oh, I thought you said speed kill a bunch of people. It's like, well, I don't remember you telling me that story. <laughs> Jack Patillo, Mass <laughs> Assassin extraordinary. No Switching to you, Jack. What's going on in the. I'm carrying. What are you dead, doing? I'm carrying a dead body around. I always switch to you in, Put like it in the, the most flowers. strangest moment. 
I'm gonna drop him over here. Jack, the body. this is so romantic. Look at this him. is where they teach you how to hide the body in assassin school. Do I really? Play Brian, what are you playing, man? You're Currently playing, playing Hexic, Hexic, but uh, I think I, I, I don't know. I probably shouldn't have opened Hexic, so I think I'm gonna switch to one of the most awful games of all time. Sonic. And Golden yeah. Axe Beast Rider. Oh. So I've seen like five photos of Katie riding in a kangaroo. <laughs> I only I, favorited that last one. We I asked and they them. delivered. <laughs> we should come up with like really weird abstract oh, concepts for them to fan art. Hmm. Nobody ever really draws me in fan art, so That's you know awesome. today if you would like to draw me, <laughs> you know, put Brian in some fan art. Um, well, the last thing I read about Brian was bloody nipples. So really, <laughs> I don't know. You're Brian with bloody nipples. Just don't do oh God, it. I don't no. want to see that on the feed. I can just imagine how graphic people would get with something like that. I will say, like the one time I had it when I was out running and wore a cotton shirt, it it hurts. Oh, I love it. It does. People have to wear guards sometimes, Brian. Damn. Someone, uh, people have to wear guards, like professional runners. Yeah. Oh yeah. Someone drew uh, Blaine as Johnny Bravo, and it's the best picture. Really. We should start doing a collection of all the fan art that happens during uh, streams. Someone should make a community page, a community group, and then start collecting all the fan art. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, we got like, since because we moved into the new studio, we have like a bunch of empty walls and stuff. Mm -hmm. That's and, true. Um, Babs decided to hang up like a, do we have like a fan art wall? I don't, you guys have one in Achievement Hunter. Yeah, yeah, we have the, the, the Awu wall. So like we put up all of the Achievement Hunter fan art behind us for Awu. Yeah, we're doing something similar where it's just like uh, Rooster Teeth as a whole. We've got this big wall and it's, only she's just started putting it up like a week ago, and it's already like mostly full. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's pretty cool. It's funny too. Like for some reason, uh, well, I'm not getting into details, but I had to get a headshot for something. Um, oh, is that why that's up there? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, then, and then I had like I, I printed a couple extra, and I like Chris saw it and was just giving me shit for it. So I like <laughs> autographed one for him, and gave it to him. <laughs> to my number one fan, Chris Demers. Who, who did your headshots? <laughs> I did. <laughs> <laughs> I did. <laughs> Timer on. <laughs> Sexy face. <laughs> Take. Print. Man, I wish. That's adorable. I'm getting John to do mine. Yeah, I should probably get John to photo me. Nick. Even even just to like touch up the photo though. Rising yeah, was pretty cool. And he was pretty awesome. He accidentally helped me celebrate my birthday. He like invited me over to play cards. Aww. Not knowing it was my birthday. I was like, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't realize that you weren't doing anything. When was your birthday? I did. Uh, well. It was <laughs> Shut, last week? Uh, yeah, it was May 14th. It was Wednesday. Um, was that Wednesday? Yeah. So hint to everyone watching, make sure he has no, 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 no. birthday. No, 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 no. That was like uh, three days ago. Yeah. Oh, I'm the, the time has passed. But um, like, I think my birthday slash graduation celebration, I'm going to do like, I'm going to like get everybody to go downtown next weekend. Everybody's invited. Yeah. <laughs> Jack won't go, but he's invited. What am I not doing? You're not going to go to my birthday slash graduation celebration downtown. But when is that? Eh, next weekend. So I haven't paid out the details. Uh, well, uh, I might be washing my hair that night. No. <laughs> that used to be my No, we're excuse. actually, yeah. Um, you're, you're washing our hair took like six hours, though, so. That was a legitimate excuse. No, we're actually, we're selling our house right now, so depending on how well that goes, we might we may be looking for excuses to get out of the house, so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Everybody buy Jack's house. Yeah. No kidding. So the address there. is. <laughs> yeah. Jack's like, no, boy, no. Cut the feed. <laughs> um, what's your favorite board game? Risk. Settlers of Catan? Dude. That's I haven't game. played it in a long time, though. No, everybody's on a menu except for Brian. Brian's on a menu. I'm Sorry. on a loading screen. I'm going to download Tweet Deck. Yeah, it's helpful. It's super helpful. Yeah, I'm, try I'm trying to keep up the, the hashtag. This is not working. There's no, just, I, have, I have one that I'm letting. Well, I was letting. I am letting uh, just go as a quick feed, and one that I'm going through and actually like looking at questions. Yeah, and this is just from a minute ago. We should give away something. No. Mm. Well, you should download TweetDeck before you yeah, give away yeah, something. Well. Someone made a picture of me falling into a pit of Legos, and I'm in a onesie because I'm a child. Oh, that's so cute. From my story earlier. That's funny. It's adorable. <laughs> What should we, should we give away? Um, what do we have to give away? Yeah, can we give away like silly things? We can, yeah, sure, whatever. Like, Wait, let's give away Genevieve. Okay. <laughs> Genevieve. 
No, seriously, like, what's, 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 we give away like posters and stuff. Like, oh, I want to be, I want to be, let's get creative with Do you want to do, do a signed uh, one of these? Sure. Signed one of what? We can okay. do a signed one of the Extra Life posters. Extra, extra uh, Life, uh, uh, Operation Supply Drop poster, yeah. excuse me. I thought you were pointing at the barrel. Yeah, <laughs> let's mm. ship that out. We're getting <laughs> away a barrel. You can reenact Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong. <laughs> those ba actually, oddly enough, those barrels came from the Mario shoot we did forever ago. Right. The oh, really? shoot. Yeah, that's where, the, that's where we bought them for. Hmm. Never used them again, except for now. Seeing lots of people saying uh, thank you for doing this, but thank you for watching the stream and supporting it and tweeting about it, getting the hashtag to trending and and especially for buying the poster and donating to Operation Supply Drop. Thank yeah. you for doing that. Well, not thank to mention to thank, me. thanks, thanks to the soldiers for everything they do. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Really. Yeah. These guys are awesome. Yeah. Mm. Um, so, I'm really excited about this. Josh Flanagan. Is your fluffer. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I just love this word. This is really exciting for Katie's me. going to whip that out <laughs> any chance she gets. That's weird. Um, Josh Flanagan is one of the writers that we have on the Rooster Teeth. He's like, mm. I guess I can't go into the details of like all the stuff that he's done, but he's like really cool. Um, he he was actually in the military. He's gonna be with us tonight um, at midnight. I'm gonna be coming back after the graduation ceremony, mm. but tune in at midnight. Well, just tune in all day. But Josh yeah. is this big guy with a beard. He's a really cool guy. So he's like, he I actually like, he served with Pat Tillman for a while. Yeah, he served with Pat Tillman. He tweeted a picture. Did you see that? He's, he's pretty intense. Pat Tillman, man, that guy was like he's beastly. Had a chin you could like land an airplane on. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm trying to think of who else. You know, you haven't really been introduced to the community that much. They, did they yeah. make a journal about you or something like that? Uh, I was interviewed in uh, the like what was it the RT recap where they went around talking to some of the lesser known employees at the time. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. That's. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I was on the uh, live stream for the release of the new season of Red vs Blue, and that was pretty much it. Yeah. I'm excited about our live streams because we get the opportunity to show off. Like, mm. for me, like, uh, Extra Life, that was, like, my chance to, like, you know, come out and yeah. interact with the community uh -huh. and family and stuff like that. So. And now I'm taking you back. No! Oh. No! no. no. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Hold it's on. on my couch now. <laughs> uh, yeah, there, we have a bunch of, like, new faces that are going to be coming in today that I'm excited for everybody to meet. Mm -hmm. You should have thrown a bit in there. So there's a question. Favorite guilty pleasure game? Dynasty Warriors. I love Dynasty Warriors. I don't know. I think I just flat out enjoy every game I play, but... But yeah. there, there are none that you're embarrassed about. No, not really. I probably have more guilty pleasure movies than I do games, but I guess I'm probably more of a film geek. Yeah, I don't have any. Do you have one? That one where you roll around all the while. Katamari? I don't think that's a guilty Katamari? <laughs> I love that game. Um, no, I actually recently looked through all of my history for Xbox Live ever. And I'm proud of every single game. Mm -hmm. yeah, Even the porn ones? Even the porn ones. It's hard to keep up with, right? <laughs> There we go. This out That's loud. what I'm talking about. Voice. <laughs> oh, yeah, nice. Are you playing Golden Axe? Yeah. Nice. They must have shown Castlevania. It's not a good game, but. No. <laughs> Bye. Oh, thanks for stealing my seat, Katie! Sorry. It's, all right. it's cool. It's fine. Do you have a guilty pleasure game? A guilty pleasure game? Like, a, just like a really shitty game or what? Yeah, that you'd like be embarrassed to admit that you like. Um, Alright, so uh, Lindsay just tweeted me. She said, RT Salute is the number one trending tag on Twitter right now on, on, nice. in the U.S. Nice. Nice. So I hate right. Lindsay, but that's a good tweet. I don't hate Lindsay. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, why? Because uh, you, you told me. You farted in that chair, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> that's why. I did. It smells like Katie farts. That's a joke, I don't know, Lindsay. Lindsay's a... Swell person. <laughs> but you, but it was Katie Fox wasn't a joke. No, that was not. She 
If you guys had smell of vision, <laughs> you'd be tuning out right now. Yeah, that was a I have to crack gravity. my knee sometimes when it gets Whoa. like really <laughs> stiff, but I do it and I lift my knee like this and it looks like I'm, <laughs> yeah. But really, I'm just cracking my knee. United States Trends, number one. Woo! Woo! Select. <laughs> number two is Happy Armed Forces Day. Ooh, hey, nice. also awesome. Mm -hmm. Godzilla's up there, Blink. Oh, wait, hold on. <laughs> Godzilla. It's like he's like number six. He's attacking. Seven. We're celebrating with bio. Godzilla Apparently. is trending. Oh, it's not bio. Anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty quiet. And Lindsay yeah, just says, like "Fuck you, Blaine." <laughs> <laughs> so. Thank you, Lindsay. Somebody get like those airplane signaling sticks and signal Godzilla away from us. <laughs> yeah. Don't ruin the stream. I haven't. I, I have a strange relationship with the Joneses and Gavin. Just most of the achievement hunters in general. Uh, <laughs> I don't really interact with you guys all that much. Most and when I do, it's like we make sure that. weird. That's most of my interactions with the achievement their hunter. Office. Yeah. Well, yeah, but you know, it's whatever. Most of my interactions with the achievement hunter have been holding doors for them. <laughs> they 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 like cuss at me and <laughs> say like me. <laughs> we're not that much of assholes, are we? No, 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 you're not. <laughs> but it's like it's joking. It's like And now know. that we're in the new building with you guys having the walls that go to the ceiling, yeah. like most of the time you guys are pretty isolated from the rest of the office. Uh -huh. Yeah. But also we're screaming half the day, so no, it's probably that. for everyone's well, sake. <laughs> the only people I really notice screaming anymore are Adam and Joel whenever they're doing something. Holy shit. Because they don't have a, are loud. a ceiling. Yeah. Fucking A. You guys yeah. are nice and soundproof, but they are... You can hear them all over the studio. Well, I mean, the, so there's definitely been the benefit of sound control for you guys, yeah. but it has been weird, like, feeling more disconnected from, like, Wait, the Achievement that? Hunters than we mm -hmm. were in the old place. Yeah. That being said, we also are assholes. <laughs> but like in a funny way. Or no. Entertaining? Sometimes just in an asshole way. <laughs> what was the, okay, what was the first game you got a, what was the first game you got a thousand points in? Like you perfected. Halo three. Uh, I can check. Hey Blaine. Maybe. What's up? I don't think I've ever like completed a, like I've finished games, but I don't think I've ever completed a game. Should we just total out? Thousand pointed. Uh, probably for me Halo three. I don't have many games. No. Like probably the closest thing that I've completely completed. Um, I'm, I'm just a couple levels short um, of like having three stars in like every pointed. Angry Birds like level ever. Uh, I, I actually close. think I 100%ed Assassin's Creed before I 100%ed uh, uh, Halo 3, though. Uh, Assassin's Creed 2. Yes. I have never 100%ed a game, I don't think. I think I've only ever. I'm giving you more audio. <laughs> I'm giving you more All audio. Just hurt. All of us are just hurt. Just us on the couch. Blaine wants audio. Audio Blaine. Uh, Saints Row is the closest I've ever got. I think I got like 995 points. Wow, why didn't you get that extra five? Because it was like some get really bullshit excited. achievement. Get really excited. It was some yeah. bullshit achievement that fucking took forever Talk and you had to do all here. the things. All right, pretend you're Michael. <laughs> God damn it. We're God damn it, Blaine. All right, that sounds pretty good. Were people saying the audio is off? Yeah, yeah. Well, no, the audio is good on you guys. They were saying for the uh, the couch folk, it's it's not it's, the best. Yeah. So Why? I tried to fix that. Let us know how the the audio is. Let us know in the comments below. <laughs> Anaxarian healing relic. Like and salute. <laughs> These healing relics will fully restore <laughs> my health behind. and the health of my beast. You <laughs> you are four minutes behind. <laughs> 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 you can just, you just, I've just been, oh, Jesus. Michael just <laughs> said that I'm going to die tonight. <laughs> Michael threatening Don't worry about it. He okay. is. As he should be. Where the hell do I need to go? Excuse me, I'm going to flee the country. <laughs> <laughs> go to Australia. Oh, excuse me, I just bugged. I don't really know how to, like, to, like... Go to Australia? No. <laughs> you get on a plane. <laughs> to explain my relationship with the Joneses. Is oh, okay. In the in Gavin. Yeah. I remember like I showed up at uh, I was hanging out with Barbara and Reisinger, and we were going swimming and stuff. And uh, Gavin, Michael, and Lindsay were swimming at a, another pool at a, an apartment complex. And I showed up late because I went to Chipotle, and I showed up and they're like, Blaine, you you live here? <laughs> they're like really confused by seeing me there. It's like. They've never interacted with me in a social level. Do mm -hmm. you live in the apartments across? No, I do not. Okay. I live, uh, well, I'm not going to tell you where I live. <laughs> I just got a new apartment. Oh, that's right. You did. Pretty sick. That. It's my bachelor pad. I call it BP. <laughs> we be having oil spills. Do you know what Jack's uh, bachelor pad was called when he was younger? I'm going to go with the Patillo 
to no, I don't know what. That is incorrect. <laughs> Do you want to tell them? The the pad tillo. <laughs> it was uh, joysticks. Joysticks. Huh. That was the name of his apartment. That sounds so like a strip club. Yeah, it sounds like something to do with dicks, Jack, I'm not going to lie. It's a video game <laughs> reference. It still sounds like a strip club. Yeah. <laughs> oh, joysticks, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually, it's a, it's a movie that came out in the early 80s that's uh, awesome. <laughs> that's uh, awesome. <laughs> it's pretty damn funny. Um, where did I go? So playing this game without without sound is a little tricky. Yeah. Where it's like, okay, I'm supposed to follow some. Oh shit, I forgot. I'm supposed to oh yeah. Them. I mean, that, I'm pretty much relying on subtitles for like, what do I do next? Yeah. There's not really a lot of story to this game. It's just kind of cat pack slash. Questions, quick lightning round. Genevieve and Katie. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Faster, faster! I've seen What's Your Favorite Movie a bunch of times, but I'm pretty sure. What's your favorite what? video game adaptation of a movie? Video game adaptation of a movie. Spider-Man 2. Um, oh, that wasn't bad. Spider-Man 2 game is the best Spider-Man game. Yeah. I don't know. I've not really played many. Freaking, um, the Bill Godfather game. Adventure for the Nets. Tomb Raider. Godfather game was pretty sick. What did you just say? Tomb Raider. No. I love the Tomb Raider movie. Stop. No, Tomb Raider was, is was the question. The movie's based off of the game. The game's not based off. Movie adaptations of games. Wait, Street Fighter the, the movie, movie, the game. game. Adaptations of movies. <laughs> no, game movie, adaptations movie. of movies was the question. Oh, it was. <laughs> yeah. Are you sure? It's I was like, now, it doesn't matter. Uh, Surely you, 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 game, you know this. You I didn't know, know that there were. Are there many video games that are ad from movies? What? There's like, not a lot. I think there's a there's a. There's not, I mean, there's not what we have here is like a True Lies. Okay, to True Lies. I loved playing True Lies on Super Nintendo. That's a, that's a James Cameron movie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a that's a badass movie. Freaking Schwarzenegger. Dagger. I named one. I know this but, is last. You you've earned back my respect. Or whatever, but Harry you Potter. You to flip me off, but yeah. That's true. It's You're exactly book movie Jeez. game. Right? How that's all I've been talking about, and I didn't even make that link. Goodness me. Uh, were we still lightning rounding? Yes. What was the hardest game you ever played? Harry Pick Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Populous. Jack, would you say that, um, what was the last game that you played that took a really long time? Last game that I played that took a really long time? That was the hardest game you ever played. Didn't you say that uh, Stick of Truth was really hard? No, Stick of Truth is actually pretty easy. Oh. Then I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, here we see the exotic assassin swimming in the wild. Stalking his prey with very agile blades. You know, all that... That was really good. He's got like a lot of... <laughs> I like to do that as a joke just a lot. Just the day he's got a lot of around. armor and weapons and stuff. He would not have an easy time swimming. No. No, he'd probably sink. That's like Master Chief. If he touches water, he's just dead. Oh, dead. Yeah. He can float through space. Yeah, he can fall. No out, problem. Fall yeah. out of the atmosphere <laughs> and then land on the ground. Yeah. Just Water. That. Fuck that. Nope. Um, we will be rotating, so uh, everybody does. I mean, some people might stay the whole stream or most of the stream, but um, the idea is that yeah, it, it's in shifts. So yeah. Yeah. I think the next shift is uh, the Adams with um, Barbara. Barbara. So if we're not entertaining you, the Adams will be in around noon. Barbara's will be in around two. Mm -hmm. So. But the Adams will be here till four, I think. Yeah, and then we're gonna have people kind of randomly pop it in whenever they want. So the idea is we have some people here all the time, always playing games and stuff. But uh, as the day goes along, we'll be bringing people in, and, you know, moving people around. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So don't forget that you can buy the Hunters of Achievements poster, exclusive to Operation, the Operation Supply Drop stream that we're doing now. You can buy it on the Rooster Teeth store, store.roosterteeth.com. Um, and the proceeds for that go to Operation Supply Drop. If you're buying it from outside of America, that's okay. You just have to pay a little bit more in shipping. And if that is an issue, just add more stuff to your cart and make the shipping worth it, is yeah. what we've established. Which is more things. Um, buy more things. Uh, otherwise, What's yeah. What's our hashtag? Uh, our hashtag is RT Salute or RT Salute. 
Um, and that's RTR. where we're looking. You can submit questions and just tell us, you know, what you're up to and photos and things like that. So, because that's what we're looking at right now. And we will try to see it. <laughs> yeah, it's going pretty quick. Did you want to do a giveaway, Jack? Isn't that what we're talking about? Yes. Uh, what should we, we should do some trivia. Okay. Um, Lane, you have a good trivia question. Hmm. I have one. Katie has one. Is it actually a good trivia question? It's a red versus blue question. Sure. Ah, right. that's perfect. Okay. But I don't know what. Okay, so wait. But do you not know the actual answer? Or? I do know the answer, okay. but it's just the season that it's from. I don't uh, know. Okay. How should we discuss this openly? <laughs> it's it's not about what away. season. It, the question, I just, it might help with uh, people knowing. All right, people, people will figure it out. Okay. All right, so we'll, we're going to do our best Watch this. to catch, this you have to hashtag so RT salute. Mental. So we'll try. We'll do our best to capture mm -hmm. the first person to get it correct with the hashtag RT salute. Mm -hmm. Whatever Katie's question is, mm -hmm. and, uh, what if it's that, me? The winner of that will get a autographed uh, Hunters of Achievement poster. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, which will come later than if yeah. you, yeah, because it has to come here and then get signed and then go out again. But yes, you will get a signed copy of that. Um, am I asking a question? Go for it. Question. The question is. Uh, what is the name of Gavin's character in the earlier seasons of Red vs. Blue? Damn. Er, what do you mean, like season six? Yeah. That was the first time you ever voiced okay, someone. Yeah. Okay. Right. So season six, Red vs. Blue. Season six of Red vs. Blue. What is the name of Gavin's character? Gavin's character in season six, Red vs. Blue. I'm gonna try to catch it. You, our, to this one. My tweet text about to explode. Just oh, so as soon as the stream touch catches. The top. And, um, you know. Uh, yeah. Pancakes and rooster teeth, that is not correct. Yeah, that's what we're looking at. Pancakes. Can well. I have it, please? <laughs> sure, since you asked nicely. <laughs> and we're quiet because we're looking. We don't want to miss it. Katie, there's some vicious rumors about you on Twitter right oh, now. Oh, there we what go. Okay, it? we're starting to get them now. Is it that I'm Australian? You don't want to know. Uh, it's it's terrible first one I got, rumors. Patrick Tough. Is that what everybody else got? Whoa, there it goes. I'm Patrick checking. Tough said Je Joe. Genevieve's going to. Um, Joanne is. She's going to. Mm -hmm. uh, is it this one? Is that right? Yeah, she got Pat Patrick Tuff too. Yep. All right. And yeah, the answer was uh, Jones or Joannis, yeah. but it was Jones. Mm. So. And uh, he gets introduced, and then shortly thereafter, do you know he gets introduced after him? He does his first ever line of dialogue for Red vs. Blue? Washington? No. I don't know. It's me. Oh, <laughs> I was going to say you. I was going to say you too, but you were but, like. Yeah, but you hyped it up and I didn't know. All right, so Patrick Tough, congratulations. Patrick underscore Tough. Woo! Um, Patrick, if you could do me a favor and just follow me so I could DM you an, an email address. Wow, Jack. Blatant, ex you know. Follow <laughs> me, please. Uh. Sorry. He's not even following Rooster Teeth. Wow. Wow. Yeah, Patrick, get your shit together. He's a new account. So oh, oh, okay. Sorry, Patrick. You, that was quick. Your shit is together. Sorry. Yeah, no. A lot of people <laughs> have been job, making dude. Twitters just to watch the stream. Oh, okay. just to just communicate with us. Yeah. In the stream. One of the first times I ever used my Twitter account was to comment on the RT podcast. A year. I, I actually made it for like a year. I made Twitter for Rooster Teeth as well. Yeah. I think I did as well, actually. Thinking wow, okay, back. Okay, so we're still going. People are okay. So. <laughs> All right, so Patrick. It's Tuff, awesome uh, that go so ahead many and people follow, know. Follow uh, me on Jack underscore P on Twitter, and then uh, I will DM you with an email address. You can email, and then we'll sort it out and get your uh, get your information. Congratulations, Patrick! And we'll be doing more giveaways Good throughout job. the day mm -hmm. as we go along. So we're two and a half hours into a twenty-four hour stream. And what are we so, up to? Uh, well, we're still having issues. Uh, last I saw, we we're at eighty-seven hundred. Wow. Um, but I don't know how many poster sales we have because mm -hmm. I'm not allowed to have access to that yet. <laughs> but I'm sure. So that's I can... that's discluding poster sales. So that's yeah, yeah, just that's uh, yeah. the the donations from Operation Supply Drop. All right. So I'll see if I can get a hold of uh, John. That's pretty cool, he right? A number. I remember when I asked a Ruby question and I vined it and it was just. Well, you can't I think see I saw anything. that one. Vine. Yes, Vine. I had to stop looking at Vine. I'm trying, to make, I'm trying to make Vine relevant again. What's up? Well, no, I... Well, he's been doing some good Vines lately. They're funny. Yeah, the apartment ones. Yeah. I watch your ones, but there are some, like, people are going super extreme with Vines where they're hurting other people or hurting themselves really uh, badly to kind of get the views. And I oh. just... Yeah, or, like, doing really obscene things in public just to get, you know, like, the... Uh, what's that? The factor? The shock factor. Shock factor. Yeah. Um, and I don't know. I don't know. I don't think that's necessary yeah, to make good entertainment. There's like this the, the stupidest fucking fad I've ever seen is this thing where they they do like a knockout cam or something like that, mm -hmm. where they just like straight up punch a person. Right. 
to like knock them out and, and they think it's like hilarious. Right. It's, it's that stuff. It's the most yeah. terrible thing I've ever seen. There was a kid here cool. in no. Texas, it may have been Austin, that they did something called the slap game where they went to a, I think a Wendy's or something, a drive through and it was like something like someone was filming him, he drove up or I guess they I don't know if he's inside or what, but apparently he slapped a, a woman who was working there and then giggled and ran off. And they filmed it, put it up on YouTube, oh, and they caught the kid. Yeah. <laughs> like, it was a right. shit. It was like a 15 or 16 year old kid. Thing, and it was like with two like older women yeah. that I guess drove him there, and they're all laughing and giggling. And it's just, like, That's terrible. There was a chick who, who put a, like she had a cream pie, like the, the clown cream pies. She hit a police officer in the face with it. Like that's ran, hilarious. I mean, ran by him, <laughs> smashed him with the pie, and then kept running and put it on Vine. Wow. So she the, gets caught. See, the number I see here yeah, I is uh, $9,990 we've raised on cool. uh, Operation Supply Drop. When does Blaine take the I don't, I don't know when off? that got updated. Uh, we said 15000 but we've had so many issues with uh, trying to get people to donate. So I'm trying to get a number of uh, poster sales from uh, John right now. Mm -hmm. He's probably sleeping. Rise manga. <laughs> so he once uh, we'll, fig we'll figure that out. John is not sleeping. It is 10:40 a.m. Those kids have been up since 6 a.m. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> he does have two kids. So. By the way, props to everybody tuning in. I know that Saturday mornings is prime cartoon time. Mm -hmm. but, yeah, we've had a few people mention that. But we're we're like cartoons, but uh, with cussing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where the cartoons your parents wouldn't let you watch. You know, it's funny though. Uh, wow. Okay, so Barbara, sorry to cut you off. Barbara says uh, the number she sees right now is 2,000 posters. Wow, sold. good wow. job. So, oh, thank you it. very much. That's oh. that's a lot of money raised already. How many is that per, can you do the maths? Like per minute, how many posters are we selling? Uh, that's, well, so we're, we're approaching 120 minutes. Yeah, so. we're approaching three hours right now, so. Mm. What's uh, what's 60, 120, so it's... Math, nope, I'm out. I'm going to the bathroom. Uh, Jack is really good at it. I graduated, I don't need this shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, 180 is close to 2,000. Yeah, so 180, 180 100, 2,000 divided by 180, what is that? It's so a little same. over 100 a minute. Wow. 2,000 divided by 180, so well, I did that back. 110 per minute. Hmm. No, 11. Oh. You get you, know, you, gotta, you Sorry, move your decimal over. So eleven a minute, basically. That's we're pretty cool. Right that's that's pretty badass. That's so awesome. again, right now, uh, right now we're having some issues with the thing. It's kind of in and out the actual donation page. But instead, you can go to uh, go to uh, roosterteeth.com/rtsalute or store.roosterteeth.com and pick up the exclusive uh, Hunters of Achievements poster. It's our uh, it's a way where you can uh, all the the proceeds from that are going to go to Operation Supply Drop. Mm. So uh, thank you very much for everyone tuning in. You know, and we're gonna be here all day for 24 hours, 8 a.m. to 8 a.m. playing video games. We got three Xboxes right now. Uh, I know the Adams are coming in pretty soon. I think they want to play some Bro Force. And, uh, I thought Adam wanted to play Dark Souls. Yeah, Adam always wants to play. Dark Souls. <laughs> so That's true. anyway, um, yeah. If there's anything you would like to see us do, um, let us know. And with the hashtag RT Salute. And uh, Barbara says 2020 posters, so 2020 posters. That's mm. crazy. That is pretty incredible. So again, remember this is only the poster is only available literally during this 24-hour period. After that, after that time is up, it's gone. You're not you're not gonna be able to buy it again. So mm -hmm. unless you go on eBay and spend way too much money for it. So. <laughs> well, you could have it for ten dollars. And say. support a good cause. <laughs> Kate, okay, Katie Colbert. She says, if I donate a grand, will you sign a poster for me? Absolutely. If you're if you're gonna donate a thousand dollars, Katie Colbert, we will, we will get you a signed poster. <laughs> cool name too, by so. the way. Um, but once that, uh, if that happens, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll make we that We had a bunch of people do that last year where we gave, uh, they, a bunch of people did Leet. They donated Leet. Yeah, yeah, like that was one of the donation options, is 1337. <laughs> and we had, like, I think we had, like, six or seven people yeah, donate we had that. A, a fair, mm -hmm. We had one lady do it twice. Oh, wow. wow. She donated Leet twice. Extra Leet. I was gonna say, uh... When we were talking about cartoons, I've actually turned the Minecraft Let's Plays you guys do into my Saturday morning cartoon replacement. <laughs> <laughs> so I watch them usually uh, Saturday or Sunday it? morning. Um, do I need the thing? Yeah. All right. I get that back to Jack? I get that back to Jack, did I? Oh, Someone photoshopped me as uh, Lubu from uh, Dynasty Warriors. Ooh. <laughs> do not pursue oh. Lubu. It's a bad idea. All right. Oh, look, it's, it's starting to work. Okay. Yeah, so we're at $9,991 on our donation page right now. Wow. Maybe get back. Hey, Jack, did I give you a card back? Yes. Oh, never mind. Yeah. Jack has it. <laughs> we're just panicking over here, like, whispering, going, I don't know where I put it. Where did you put it? Let's check out <laughs> What's happening? 
What's happened? People are like, what is going on? I need to finish this. I need that to get back in though, don't I? Uh-huh. We can just borrow it from him. And use the, um, you know where the second toilets are? Go from? So, not the first block, but... <laughs> Careful. Nailed it! You just you kept your eyes over. deadlocked on the phone. Um, if you keep walking down that alleyway, mm -hmm. um, there's like a Waterloo there. That's like a really nice one. What's a Waterloo? You're a Waterloo. Waterloo is a place in Australia. I should stop talking mm -hmm. about Australia. It's all Maybe. I know! And what? <laughs> and a, uh, water Could you do me a giant favor that I forgot to do for myself? Sure. Water. Or as Katie would call it, water. <laughs> it's getting way better. Sure. Better. Well, that's a butt. Where's that? <laughs> Where are you? People. Every like time I like look over, you got like weird. <laughs> something weird on my screen. At She's um, looking at all sorts of things a, on the Twitter. There's a filter thing on the fridge. Let's tear down some posters. <laughs> Someone assassin. said, Broforce, can you turn down the audio in preparation for that? For Adam and Adam? Oh, yeah. 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 We'll, the we'll, Adam's will address we'll audio. We'll manage the audio. I think, though, it was just a joke. I'm just not very good at being sarcastic. Will Joel be on? Uh, Joel might come by. I talked to him yesterday, so he said he might try to swing by at some point. Cool. More questions? I'm trying to find them. Go faster! Do you know how to do a front, front flip plane? Do I know how to do a front flip? Yeah. I think that you guys are like trying to egg me on into No, no, I was, I was, like somebody jackass. said something about doing front, and I just wanted to know if I cannot do a front flip. And these, so, um, in stage five, you see, it's, it's, it's an, a retired airplane hangar, correct? Yeah. Yeah, this is the old... Um, Apparently, this is actually a helicopter school. Oh, really? Oh, really? Yeah. So, yeah, in Austin Film Studios, we have, uh, like, several stages. Um, and ours is stage five. I think it's the largest. Mm -hmm. um, so it's, like, this just giant area. And it, within it, they put all these offices and stuff. So the Achievement Hunters have, like, this big office within the larger office and all that. So, like, for the podcast area, um, I guess I could take the cam and show them i'm not going to but anyways um maybe that could be a, a thing like a, a, yeah, we'll a we do a have milestone we, we like if they if we raise enough money we can do a little tour of yeah the, well it's gonna have to be like you know within the proximity of this area because the the wire oh thank you so much yeah well we can definitely spin the thing around yeah well anyways um so this whole area is a giant open space and our sets are built on top of these platforms that you can wheel around so we have Currently three. We have one that's empty, I guess mm. just for whatever. Mm. Um, but we have patches. We're looking at patch, like it's right over there. And then this is the podcast. So anyways, they're on wheels. So if you make like any sudden movements or anything, like you can feel it rocking. Yeah. So if I did a backflip, I would eat so much shit. Mm -hmm. You'd probably ruin some really expensive I would equipment. Eat, I would eat <laughs> shit and then all the cameras, you would notice they'd just all go like, Whoo! Yeah. And then everybody would be mad. And but it would I'd be get working. fired before I even started working full time. <laughs> Blame. Oh, okay. So Patrick, it looks like Patrick. Follow That's a Godzilla noise <laughs> reference. I'm making Godzilla noise. Um, <laughs> Alright, here we go. Patrick, I'm, I'm gonna message you now. <laughs> Every time somebody wins a, something, we gotta make a Godzilla noise. <laughs> um, what was I gonna say? Uh, there will be trials. Jack said he will, tr he will play trials. Um, and the other question that I just forgot, let me go back and find it. What's your favorite RVB season? Probably the one where they did that sick text fight. I think that was eight. That's eight. Mm. Season eight, episode ten. That's when, like, That's Monty stepped in? Mm -hmm. Holy yeah. shit. Although, this new season. The one from Freelancers yeah. is pretty amazing. Not only is the animation awesome, thanks to this gentleman right here, but there's, like, these two voice actors. Is, is, there, anim is there animation in it? I thought it was just Machinima. No, we've had, uh, I, how many episodes have we released, I think? Three? Three, uh, yeah. The first two had animation in it. Okay. Yeah, and it's sick, too. Like, yeah. it looks cool. I, I love that. But it, it hasn't gotten to any like actiony stuff. There maybe there was one little tiny actiony bit, but a lot of it is uh, oh like God. the early stuff in season eight, where it's like to help either tell a part of the story, tell a unique joke that you can't mm -hmm. do with just the Machinima character right. or whatnot. But yeah, this new season's pretty great, mm. and it was really cool because Reisinger and I are both we we started out as Rooster Teeth fans. Mm -hmm. So we actually uh, got to do voices, mm -hmm. and like we, like I cornered him in the kitchen after our episode got released, and mm -hmm. we were just like geeking out, like we were in versus blue. <laughs> you know they replaced all your audio, right? Like, thanks, Jack. They're not actually using <laughs> you anymore. It's pretty exciting though when you when you get to be a part of that. Sick yeah. as hell. I love it. So like, 
Mm -hmm. I had one voice roll so far. Which one? Very or, well. has it, it I was in? the uh, in episode two. I was the guy who's like, "Fuck that! I'm not gonna let him catch me slacking off." <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, Frankie at PV Frankie just made a Twitter account for this live stream. Yeah. Good on you, Frankie. A lot of people have. If you're tuning in. Oh, that was the next question. Um, there will be cards against humanity. Sorry. Ooh. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that'd be fun. Uh, if if you're tuning in and you want to interact with us, you should make a Twitter account, and then. And what's hash the hashtag? The hashtag is RT Salute. So. I bet I look tired as hell. I can't see it from the camera. You look great. Thanks. I'm gonna pull up the camera, and make sure. <laughs> I'm gonna do this. Claudia and Maria, follow me. Hey, Claudia. I'm getting you out of the city. Oh yeah, that part. Yeah, that's still like what chapter one or oh god, I think sequence two is all. Sequence on. two, still early on. Yeah, I look pretty tired. One thing about this is it's tricky because uh, walk I fast. This? I have a. a is, uh, <laughs> I was saying why I'm using the internet. That's also loot. Oh, oh sorry. So it's like the they'll be like, laptop. okay, I'm just gonna move quickly. It's like, oh crap. Oh, yeah. Just, now everyone's pickpocketed something. Yeah. They told the guards and it's just going downhill. You know, right? It'll kick up. It's like, oh crap. Oops. Not intended. Okay, they do not give you a good way of knowing where you're even going in this game. Watch it was all like an audio cue that you can't hear. Uh, more questions! Sir, I'm sorry. Things are dying down. No, it's okay. Lightning round, Katie. I've, I've got, uh, somebody just told me that it wasn't Gavin's first roll on Red vs. Blue, and I was like, but that's the one I was referring to, so... Yeah. <laughs> no. that's, that's the answer we were looking for. Well, I mean... What other roles did he have? Um, let so me find it. Let me find a question first, and I'll, I'll tell you what he, this person said. Um, most frustrating um, video game moment slash hard, hardest achievement or level you just couldn't pass. That fucking uh, one where you have to get a mongoose kill. Oh, I, I was gonna say Halo 3's uh, or this Vidmaster Annual, where you have to complete the final level on four-player legendary live co-op with everyone in Ghosts. That was a pain in the ass. Yeah, I know. And it was it was always one of those ones that you started it, it's like, oh yeah, we'll do it in like an hour. I'm like, no, we won't. And you stay up until like three in the morning. We'll do it live. It. <laughs> we'll do it live. I think I attempted that achievement a total of three times. Only two times did we ever succeed. Oh, to answer an early question that has long since been forgotten, favorite boss fight was... General Rom from Gears of War. Ooh. That was that was fun. It wasn't really anything unique or crazy, but mm. I, I still enjoyed it. That's that's weak. I can come up with a better one. Mm. Get back to me on that. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. Hi, Genevieve. Hi. Hi, Genevieve. Hi, Genevieve. I'm just sitting in front. Um, he was in part one of Out of Mind. What's that? Oh, that was a mini series where. Uh, that's the one where, te where text goes where around. It totally doesn't count. Yeah. yeah. Right, we so said season six. We had a peak concurrent viewers of 16,000 at one point. Wow. My wow. God. We've already had 40,000 hours of view time. Crazy. So. Damn. Uh oh. We've been uh -oh. going for two hours and 48 minutes. This how guy's many, a how many years? Is that even a year yet? In uh, total? 40,000. 40,000 40, hours? What's, what's 529,600 divided by 60? <laughs> Math. Yeah. Uh, 40,000, let's see here. 40,000 divided by 24. I love math. Jack, five. last time we did math, I walked up the stage. Four and a half years. Do not make me walk already. Up. Wow, that is awesome. So we, we, we've burned four and a half years worth of people's time. <laughs> oh. This guy is scary. Yeah, no kidding. There's oh. Blaine. That's Blaine's Halloween costume. <laughs> of course not. Oh. We don't talk about that. Uh, I think I'm the only one, like, uh, I, I, I really that. get prepped yeah, you know you for, uh, for Halloween way too early on. Like, I oh, knew that I was going to be in the end of Joe. Or, sorry, uh, oh, I knew I was going to be Han Solo. I cleaved him in two. Like, months before Halloween actually started. Well, you kind of look like him. 
was that? That was awesome. On solo. Oh, thanks. S stop, you're gonna make me cry. It's like scruffy looking, That's looking nerf herder. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, you fucking blushy. <laughs> <laughs> what is Blaine's favorite Chipotle sauce salsa? Chipotle? Chipotle. You want the f Chipotle. okay? Pro tips on Chipotle with with Blaine Gibson. Chipotle 101. You go in and you get a burrito bowl, and then you ask for a flour tortilla on the side, because you're gonna get way more stuff in there, and you're still gonna get the tortilla. So that's that that's step one. Chipotle they will not charge is you if like you shut us down. If they ask for extra rice or, or extra rice or beans, they're not gonna charge you extra. Always get half and half meat. Jackie, you listening? You better be taking notes. All right. So if you like steak and you like chicken, yeah, just be like, I want half steak, I want half chicken. They'll charge you for just steak, but you'll get like twice as much meat. Nice. So. I, I know when I go to Chipotle, Life it's like, hacks. I wish I had more food than I had before. Yeah, I don't know that I've ever walked out of Chipotle hungry. Yeah. So. I, for you, there's maybe. one time I've like walked out and I was like, I could, I could do another burrito. I struggle with American portions as it is. I love Chipotle. Shit, I'm asking. Any I'm odd fears? I'm um, going there for lunch today. Odd fears? I, no, I don't know if it's a fear more than an annoyance. I don't like loud noises like uh, blenders and when I start the shower and when I flush the toilet, I block my ears. <laughs> I don't so know if it's like a, a fear. Dog. You don't like loud noises? <laughs> no, I mean, is it? <laughs> well, you gotta work on that. <laughs> <laughs> That's timing. You don't like loud noises? What the fuck, Godzilla? <laughs> what? He's abandoned you. You don't like, you don't like loud noises? What is happening? <laughs> Godzilla's having Come a on. Shit. There we go. He's right loud. That was Jesus so Christ. Wow, ah, good job. Yeah. Fucking Godzilla. Um, but that's pretty much it. Genevieve, you've driven me weird fears. Uh, stage lights. I'm kidding. Really? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be really <laughs> bad right now. Okay. Just kidding. No, I don't think so. I mean. Uh, when will we be playing Cards Against Humanity? Yourself. That's going to be the late night thing. So I think it's going to be around midnight here, and we're minus 5 GMT. So it's, 5 a.m. I thought it was morning. like 2 a.m. they were doing it. Oh, oh okay. So maybe 7 a.m. It's, it's anyway, too, the middle too spooky. Of the night, that was what I accidentally time. spoiled before, yeah. but now it's too late. Jack did it first. What? Nothing. We're talking about Strange Fears? Yes. Uh, probably just Garden Variety Genevieve says she's invincible. Crises. I am. Mm. Strange Fears. Uh, physical pain does not... I don't think I, I'll do whatever, you know? That's that's fine. Um, but, like... I'll do butt stuff. Also invincible. <laughs> you know, where? But, like, children, I, I have a terrible crippling fear of holding kids. Uh, because it's like I'm responsible for yeah. a life in yeah, my stupid, dumb hands. I get that. We can test this one when my wife gets back. We're not testing... This is your child, Brian. <laughs> you can sit down, it'll be fine. She won't go anywhere. All right, maybe. I'll hold the baby, perhaps. I just imagine, like, handing Blaine a baby and he's doing, oh! <laughs> well, no! Get it when off! Get it off! Jack, uh, Jack's sister, when she had a baby, and it, he was so tiny and so, like, new, I, Jack tried to hand him to me, and I was like, no, I can't. I can't take he him. He still had that new he, baby smell. No, but, I mean, like, he was, like... Tiny. So tiny. Yeah. He's a tiny human being. And I just... It's horrifying. It is horrifying. You have, like, like... 80 years of potential in your hands. It's, yeah. It could be the next president, you just, and you're just like, uh, I'm never holding Silas uh, ever again. That's just, where I get, what I'm getting from this. Well, it sucks because, like, uh, my sister, she just got pregnant, mm -hmm. and I'm so fucking excited. She's going to have a, a little girl, Aww. and I've been wanting to be an uncle. And I told her, like, I wanted to, I wanted to have a niece. It would be, like, the best, yeah. Well, uh, like, uh, my, gra my uh, gift to her for um, her baby shower, mm -hmm was me buying a, one of those like front bib things. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm gonna be that uncle. Like the the su kid support things? You yeah. Kid, yeah. So I'm gonna be like carrying this kid around. Like Aww. I'm gonna be a cool fucking uncle. But I'm you were terrified because I don't wanna serious ladies. Yeah, like until she starts walking I'm gonna be really scared because I don't wanna Well even when they're walking then they start bumping into things. Yeah. It's all it's also terrifying. Mm -hmm. Um Jax and I our nephew Silas is seven months old yesterday. And apparently he started rolling under furniture. Oh. So like, <laughs> she'll just look away for a second and he's rolled under something. It's just like, that is terrifying to me. She's like, where'd my kid go? You have to check under everything. It's like a live Roomba. Right? He's just like, put uh, some Velcro on him or what is it? Some duct tape so and he can just yeah. went roll the floor. Ooh. Just put some wings on him so it won't roll over. <laughs> he's cute. He's a little chubby baby. Um, 
So yeah, I, I like kids, but carrying them is mm -hmm. terrifying. Sometimes babies can be creepy and scary too. 